everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about everything in the third trimester i am now currently 39 weeks so it is crunch time <laughs> but yeah this pregnancy has i feel like has definitely been a lot more difficult compared to the first one i think because i got pregnant like eight months postpartum so it was so close together but I wouldn't change it for the world because I'm gonna be giving birth so soon and Lydia's gonna have her little sister. So we're super excited. But yeah, let's dig into everything about the third trimester. I think after 34 weeks, these last couple weeks have just been dragging by so slowly. Like the pregnancy itself has gone by really, really quickly. But I feel like this last month, I'm just like, oh my gosh, like this is, it's like just snail pace pretty much. To start off, I have all my notes here because I am not going to remember anything from 27 weeks. But from 27 weeks to 32 weeks, I was fine. And then from 33 to 34 weeks was when all the pain started. So I have still been walking an hour to an hour and a half every single day, Monday through Friday, and I have a break on Saturday and Sunday. So I have been a lot more active this pregnancy compared to my last one. Since I only have two more days now, since, well, actually one, because I'm going to get induced tomorrow, I wasn't able to go walk on my normal trail because Chad was like, I don't want you giving birth in the trail. And we only have one car, so it would have been really hard for him to get to me and then me having to run back to the car with Lydia or something. So I've been walking around the neighborhood. It's just not the same. Like I love walking on the trails in the morning because it's so peaceful for me. And then I also am comfortable letting Lydia just go off and like run around, explore and do all those things. And then my gestational diabetes is also diet controlled. So that is completely fine. And the doctors didn't worry about needing to induce me right at 39 because my sugar levels have been fine. So that's why they're letting me get closer to my actual due date rather than inducing me right at 39 weeks. At night, I'm still peeing like literally over five times even if i don't drink any water i'm just like where does this liquid come from in my bladder like why do i have to go so often it doesn't make any sense but like it's so uncomfortable to sleep like it, it's just really really difficult i now sleep with six pillows and i still feel like that's not enough i started having braxton hicks contractions at around 29 weeks and then at 34 weeks I felt like the contractions were getting a little bit stronger and a little bit more uncomfortable. I also haven't had a leg cramp since 25 weeks. I don't know if that had anything to do with COVID, but I got COVID at 25 weeks and I had a leg cramp then and I haven't had leg cramps since. So it's so strange. I also feel like this baby is definitely a lot more active than Lydia, unless I just don't remember, but her movements are a lot bigger and stronger and they just hurt a lot more. Like I feel her higher up on my belly compared to Lydia. Like I didn't really ever feel her up there in that area. My belly dropped at around 32 and a half weeks. I noticed because when I sat down, I couldn't keep my legs closed in front of me anymore. Like I had to kind of like open them a little to make room for my belly because it was just so uncomfortable how low my belly was sitting. So it, I think it definitely dropped at around that time. And then my pity, so you guys know I have one on this side that's pretty big now. I grew another one on this side, so now I have two. It's so unfortunate. I'm hoping after this baby is born and after I'm done breastfeeding, since we're taking a break until we have our third kid, they'll kind of go away on its own. But I don't know if those ever go away unless you get surgery to get it removed. But yeah, now I have two and I know this one's gonna grow once my milk comes in, so it's gonna be super painful. At around 35 weeks, I was really hormonal and emotional for some reason. Like this entire pregnancy, I feel like I've been just pretty chill and like happy and stuff. But once 35 weeks hit, I was just, I remember being really, really sad and having really bad dreams like every single night. And that was awful. Like they were always 
just like really sad dreams and I would wake up being so sad and it would kind of just set the mood for the day because I had such sad dreams. And I think I just got into a little funk, but um, it only lasted for like a week and a half. And then at around like 36 and a half weeks, I was back to my same self again. So it was really strange. I don't know what was going on during that 35 week time period or why my hormones are going like that, but I've been fine since then. And then also at 36 and a half weeks, I think my hands started swelling. You can't really tell on camera, I don't think, but I can no longer wear my rings. At first I couldn't wear the um, wedding ring, but then I could still wear the engagement ring, but it was very uncomfortable. So I just didn't wear either of them. So I took them both off and then I found a random ring in my drawer that was actually big enough for me to wear on my ring finger. And then I outgrew that one as well. So now like, I can't really see that my hands are swollen, but they're definitely swollen. And I wake up in so much pain in my hands. Like I can't open them or close them. And it just feels like, like even now when I'm opening and closing them, they still kind of hurt. But in the morning when I first wake up, they're just so tight. And like, it feels like my tendons are just like, popping i don't know like there's just like no elasticity in my hands so like it's really strange because this has never happened when i was pregnant with lydia and my feet are also swelling i've been wearing the same sandals for like two years now and now when i take off the sandals you see the imprint of where the elastic is and i can feel that they're super super snug on my feet and speaking of feet, I used to be a seven and a half, but now I have to wear a size eight shoe. Like my foot physically got longer. Like I can't fit into my seven and a half shoes anymore without it kind of like my feet poking out. Like that's so weird. Like do your feet grow during pregnancy? Like not just swell, but actually grow. And then at 38 weeks and six days, my appetite was completely gone. I was so tired and I was like, is it starting? Is she about to come? Is labor starting? But no, I'm like 39 weeks and four days now and she's still just chilling and in my belly. There are days where like the contractions actually hurt pretty badly and I wake up at night from the pain, but she's still in there just chilling all snug. So I'm hoping tomorrow's induction goes really smoothly. <laughs> but by the time this is uploaded, I would have already had the baby because this is gonna go up next week. But yeah, now at 39 weeks, literally everything, everything, it just hurts. Like my back hurts, my hands hurt, my feet hurt. I have lightning crotch. What else did I write down? I have contractions, everything's swollen. I feel like my face is swollen, my hands are swollen, my feet are swollen. Like I literally just feel like a ball. Like I, <laughs> I can, I feel like I can still move around pretty well, which is very surprising for how big I am. But like none of my maternity clothes fit anymore either. Like how is that even possible? Like maternity clothes is made for it to be long so it covers your belly, but nothing works. And I hate it because like, I can't find anything that fits me. So I'm just wearing Chad's humongous t-shirts and even some of them I can't fit anymore because my belly hangs out of them. And I don't wanna walk around with my belly hanging out. Okay, so let me show y'all my belly. It's so big, like literally, like it's huge. If it weren't for these pants that covered my belly, this shirt, you would be able to see my belly under here because it just, it just doesn't cover it anymore. <laughs> But yeah, 39 weeks and four days. I'm literally a ball, just the ball. So like, this is basically how my third trimester has been going. <laughs> it's been super uncomfortable, but super exciting and super great. I am very thankful that I can still be as active as I am because I do feel like I have a lot of energy, even though I nap every single day while Lydia's napping. But yeah, it's gonna be so soon that she's gonna be here and we're so excited, but I'm not ready for the sleep deprivation again. That's like the one thing I'm nervous about. And oh my gosh, I'm so nervous about the induction because last time I pushed with Lydia for four hours because I just could not connect the concept of pushing because I couldn't feel anything. And so when the doctor was like, push like you have to poo, I literally could not mentally and physically 
connect it to figure it out because I couldn't feel anything. So I didn't know what I was doing. So that ended up resulting in me pushing for four hours to get her out. So I'm really praying that this time I can make that connection and just get her out. And like, hopefully my body just knows what to do. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye.